Uh, I'm Maury Gertz, and I'm chair of the Department of Medicine uh, at Mayo Clinic Minnesota. I've been a practicing hematologist for 33 years, and uh, much of the drive has been the nature of hematology patients. They're uh, wonderful patients to care for. Uh, they show immense courage and optimism, and it's been a real privilege to care for them over the years. We've always had at Mayo Clinic a large population of patients with Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. And since Mayo Clinic is committed to research to help improve the practice of medicine, the opportunity to understand the natural history of Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia and report on active treatments available for macroglobulinemia has always been an important component of our integrated group practice. Making progress in Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia requires an understanding of the basic biology of the disease. Treatments can no longer be selected at random and see if they work or don't work. We need to understand the fundamental biology of the Waldenstrom cell in order to understand mechanisms to selectively target and kill the cell. Research funding from the IWMF has helped through support of Dr. Ansel's laboratory at Mayo Clinic, important background regarding how cells communicate with each other. And this cell signaling is something that is a target that we can interfere with using specific drugs that will ultimately result in long-term control of the Waldenstrom's cell. The large number of patients that we see at Mayo Clinic with Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia allows us to collect samples both from blood and bone marrow that we can use in our basic science biology and to understand the genetic mechanisms underpinning the disease. These samples are shared by Mayo investigators across all three Mayo sites, including Arizona, and Florida where experts in Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia also are doing active research and allows us to communicate and collaborate across the states to bring the best minds to help solve the terrible problem of Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia.